Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can check. Still not working, run Steam as an administrator. So close Steam, exit Steam and then type in Steam in Windows search box. Make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And once the Steam is up and running, now if there is any update over here, you can update the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install the latest firmware, the Wheels firmware from the manufacturer website. Now you can go to whichever device you have. You can go to their website and you can search for your device over here. And then you can try to update the firmware, update the driver from the website. So update it. And then once updated, restart the computer and then launch the game. Now update Logitech G Hub. So if it's, if it's not up to date, you can update it. You can even use gaming software instead of Logitech G Hub. You can uninstall Logitech G Hub, restart your computer, and then you can install the gaming software from the website. And again, after you install it, you have to restart your computer, and then you can launch the game and then check. So you can use this gaming software. Now, the next step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. Make a right click on the game, select properties, and then in the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Close this, launch the game, and then check. Still not working, you can even try dash dx12 over here relaunch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to rename the config folder when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost to rename it open file exploring computer and then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder Open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show. Put a check on hidden items. Open app data folder. Open the local folder. Open find ACR folder. Open this ACR folder. Saved folder. And here you can see config folder. Make a right click and you can rename this. And then now once you rename it, now relaunch the game and then check. Now, still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, go to privacy and security, Windows security. Click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now, go to the game installation folder, wherever the game is installed. In my case, the game is installed in C drive. Program file 686. Open the Steam folder. Steam apps folder, common folder, open the game folder, and then open ACR folder, binaries, Win64, select the game exe file, click on open, check if there are any other uh, exes files, so go back. So that's the only exe file, you can add it, now type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel. System and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings, allow on the app, click on browse. Again, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. And then you have to select the same exe file over here. Open ACR, binary is Win64. Select this exe file, click on open and then click on add. In my case, the game is already added. Once the game is added, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to, if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to antivirus program. Next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click manage browse local files. Go to the game installation folder, open the game folder, Select the game exe file, make a double click and then launch the game from here and then check. Still not working, make a right click, go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again, put, put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK. You can even try disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK. Launch the game and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, and then follow the next step. Now, the next step is to 
verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game still not working perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if your nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card your operating system click on find now on this page you will see the latest ge force game ready driver whichever is the latest click on view and then you can click on download and then run this exe file and then click on yes to allow click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next once the clean installation is done restart your computer and then check similarly if you have amd card you can go to amd website select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card over here i don't have amd graphics this is just an example click on submit select your operating system and install the latest graphic card driver click on download install it restart your computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here find the game in the list once the game is added click on the game over here select high performance over here you will see your graphic card now launch the game desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot not the motherboard slot next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this you can go to microsoft link the link is provided in the video description scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 download both the files x86 run the exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed restart your computer after the system restart launch the game next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app browse go to the game installation folder and then again you have to open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open click on add which we have already done so okay for this you have to open control panel sorry hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here you will see power saver mode in my case i have only balanced but if you see power saver like this you can select power saver and then relaunch the game and then check if you can even try balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then check next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings add and uh, now click on advanced graphic settings if hardware accelerated gp scripting if this is off you can turn it on relaunch the game and then check if this is already on you can turn it off relaunch the game and then check next step is to now disable integrated graphic card make a right click on the start menu and then go to device manager Ex expand display adapter if your computer has a dual graphic card like like in my case intel is the integrated graphic card so you can make a right click on integ integrated graphic card and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game if it is uh, like once you're done playing the game you can enable the device once again or if you face any problem enable the device and then follow the next step next step is to delete direct x shader cache now for this you can type in disk cleanup in windows search box click on disk cleanup and then put a check on direct x shader cache if this is unchecked you can put a check put a check on everything over here and then click on ok and then click delete files and once this is done now you can launch the game or restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to install direct x file now for this you can go to microsoft website the link is provided in the video description run this exe file click on yes to allow click on accept over here and then click on next uncheck install bing bar next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete click on finish restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to try launching the game from nvidia apps so nvidia card users you can launch nvidia app now if you find this game over here you can find the game 
if you don't find the, the game over here, you can skip this step. But if you're able to find the game, you can select the game and try to launch the game from here. So I don't have the game over here. I'll show you a different game. This is just an example. So select uh, the game, select the game, and then you can click on play, launch the game. If that does not work, you can, if you see optimize option, you can optimize the game and then relaunch the game. If already optimized, revert the optimization and then go to settings, turn off this NVIDIA overlay, turn this off, close NVIDIA app, and then relaunch the game. Try debug mode. Now for this, you can go to desktop, make a right click, show more option, go to NVIDIA control panel, and then click on help, and then put a check on debug mode. Make sure this is checked, and now relaunch the game, and then check. Still not working. Restore NVIDIA control panel settings. Now for this, go to NVIDIA control panel, and then go to manage 3D settings over here. Uh, manage 3D settings, global settings, restore, click on yes. At the bottom right, you will see apply option, hit apply over here. And once done, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to lower down monitor refresh rate. So if your monitor refresh, for example, if it is 240 Hz, you can try 120 or 60 Hz and then check. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in Windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting, and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte. For initial size, it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5. That is 24576. For maximum size, it's total RAM. That is 16 multiplied 1024. In my case, 16384 me megabyte. Then three times multiplied three. That is for maximum size, it's 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply Click on OK. OK. You will see restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Still not working. The next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So disconnect it. Disconnect external keyboard and mouse which you're not using. It's like if you have key crown keyboard, razor handsman keyboard, or any kind of external keyboard and mouse which you're not using, disconnect it. Any external devices which you're not using, disconnect it. Razor Tartarus. Disconnect any kind of USB adapter or USB dongle connected to the computer which you're not using. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching the single try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, you can close it. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. And then you can relaunch the game. If it is already off, you can turn it on and then check. So try both on and off. Close other overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Nvidia app, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off overlay. And close all the overlay application and then check. Do not overclock, you can set it to default. Close all overclocking application, like if you have MSI after burner, revert in a running, close it. Any kind of overclocking application, close it. Perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in Windows set box, click on system configuration, go to the services tab, 
put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here and then click on disable all and then hit apply. Click on OK. You will see a restart option, restart your computer and then check. If you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. For this, you can open Windows settings, go to Windows update and then go to Windows, uh, click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. After the system restart, you can check. Still not working. If, if, if you're not able to launch the game, you can skip this step. If you're able to launch the game, try window mode and lower down video settings. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to settings and then go to video uh, and then select display over here. Now you can switch to window mode and lower down uh, resolution. So like if this is set to like 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p, you can even lower down more. And then VSync, you can try both on and off and then check. And you can even try to set the FPS at maybe 30 or maybe I will set it to 60. And then back and confirm. Again, go to video graphics. Now over here, if the graphics preset, if this is set to like ultra, uh, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium. And over here also scroll down graphics quality. Uh, you can set these thing to like maybe medium. You can, if this is set to ultra, you can set it to high or medium. I'll just set it to and then back and confirm. And now you can check the performance. Still not working. The next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter, the charger is connected to the computer when you update the BIOS. Still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So uninstall the game and then after that you reinstall the game, you can install the game to C drive. So if the game was installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game was already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.